Now, almost a year later, Amanda's former boyfriend is speaking out about his relationship with Amanda Knox, his time in prison, how the couple was railroaded by Italian police. Raffaella Solicito's new book is Honor Bound, My Journey to Hell and Back with Amanda Knox. Uh, Raffaele, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Thank you so much for joining us. I was up all night till 2 in the morning reading your book. I couldn't put it down. It's fantastic. Listen, Thank I know a so few much. months ago, it's amazing. A few months ago, you had a reunion with Amanda in Seattle. You saw Amanda. Uh, yes. After all of this, tell us what was in your heart. What happened when you saw her? Do you still feel love for her? Well, uh, <clears throat> first of all, um, I'm sorry if um, some if my English is not forgot my uh, forgive my English if um, I don't uh, understand very well doing an interview. In, uh, this no problem. Forgive my Italian, but tell us about <laughs> seeing Amanda. That's, that's okay. Yeah, when I saw Amanda, uh, when uh, I saw her in Seattle, I just went there for a weekend uh, because I was working on my book in Los Angeles. <coughs> um, I, um, it was a really um, strong feeling moment uh, because uh, I spent uh, one week of a dreamy relationship with her and um, and I knew Amanda as um, a, a Alice in Wonderland personality, a goofy personality who, which uh, I liked. And Raffaele, can I jump in and ask you, do you still love her? No, uh, still no. Um, now I'm single. I'm moving on with my life, which is completely different uh, than uh, m my life as uh, I used to, um, w uh, as uh, it um, was, uh, had, as it was first. My life, uh, as my life, my previous life has gone completely. Okay, now, now I want to move on, on to another question. I want to move yeah. on to the famous or infamous kiss at the crime scene. Y you, a lot of people say you brought suspicion on yourself because you and Amanda started kissing each other even though Amanda's roommate had just been discovered murdered. But you were telling in the book that you were trying to comfort her, but that the media misrepresented it as sexual urges of two stone cold killers. If you could go back and do it all over again, would you not kiss Amanda? Uh, sorry, can you repeat, please, the, que the last Do question? Do you the last regret? Part of the question. Are you are you sad that you kissed Amanda at the crime scene? That famous kiss where you kissed her, and all the the reporters saw you kissing her after the murder. Oh uh, well, uh, w I didn't realize that the media were over there, and uh, I just wanted to comfort her. So a kiss or a caress, whatever, was just to saying, "I'm here for you." Uh, I want to comfort you because I was the only one who uh, she could trust at that moment because her family was really on the other side of the world at that time. Uh, I want to say, uh, I think you're a gentleman. I know that everyone wanted you to cut Amanda loose. You were her only alibi and you stuck with her gallant and loyal, it, even though you could have saved your own skin and said, eh, she did it and I didn't. And you didn't do that and for that I'm very proud of you. Your book is extraordinary. I couldn't put it down. Everybody should read it. And I think you are adorable. And good luck with your life. Thank you, Thank you so Raphael. Much.